This is a period of history that has been forgotten by many people. No one here seems to be able to remember this period of time. It's like it never happened. Someone chose to forget about this period of history. But someone chose to revive people's memories. They panicked. You know, I do not recognize anybody here. I recognize me. We have just seen the film, The Sinking of the Lisbon Maru. Uh, Oliver, what did you think? I thought it was really touching. I had a great time with it. But I've also got some very exciting news to share with you. I have. Later on today, we're going to actually have a phone call with the director of this movie. With Fang Lee? Yes. Oh, wow. We can talk to him, ask him some questions. Absolutely. Okay. Hi, I'm Pandra Observer Oliver. Happy to have this opportunity to speak to you. Yeah, me too. My name is Toby. We had a whole list of questions. It was uh, early 1949. How serious a situation in Europe, World War II. Great Britain was facing a big threat from Germany. In the Far East, uh, 1,800 men, such a small number. Really, you see how many people got killed in Europe. Okay? Remember Dunkirk, remember everything, and Normandy, everything. So this memory is nothing. It's a bullet. Who is going to remember? Whoever heard of our story, saw our footage, everyone's moved. It, it, it all because the family stories and the feelings, the love. Everybody's moved. It's not the, the incident itself. But of course, the incident, the incident itself is a war story. Uh, it's a very shocking. Yes. But much more than that is the family story. I can tell you the first one, you, you saw Dennis Morley. He doesn't want to talk about it, right? Even his daughter sitting next to me, never heard about uh, what happened during the war to her dad. Also, uh, you know, Dennis Morris' granddaughter, they never heard about this. It was the first time. You know, these 1,800 families, they have forgotten. Especially those 828 soldiers, they are totally forgotten. Even those fishermen, they didn't know what happened to to those British POW before they pick them up. I said, why this film is so important to you? Because you don't know your fathers. When they did pick up those soldiers from the sea, they didn't know what happened before that. Somebody in the water would just pick them up. You know, this is a fisherman's uh, petition. Anybody in the water they will pick up, no matter who. It's all my person. Really? Yes. And See, I told everyone, this is not a film project. It's my commitment. I will do everything I can, put all my resources. Well, I have to go borrow money. I still, I'm still in debt. I sold all my house. I sold three. I sold them all. We are also trying to, we also applied for Glasgow Film Festival. We don't know whether they're going to scream or not, but we did apply. Some POW relative also sent a letter uh, to the festival because you, we want to save the premiere for distributor. So let's hope next spring we can distribute a 
Americana in UK. Not only for a wonderful movie, I genuinely enjoyed it as a piece of cinema, but I think this part of history is really, really important. And for you to bring it to the big screen, in my mind at least, in my eyes, you are a hero as well. So thank you very much, director.